What's going on guys? So today we are out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at another really fantastic floor plan from the folks over at Flagstaff. So the Flagstaff Microlite is a slightly lighter version of a lot of their trailers, but they don't skimp on a lot of the features and technologies and construction perks that typical Flagstaff models have. And I think you're going to love the interior of this one. Hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we get any further, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. This is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,778 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,562 pounds. It's gonna ride on 14 inch wheels, D-rated tires, and they're gonna be Goodyear Endurance tires. And this is gonna have two axles and your axle rating is gonna be 3,500 pounds per axle. This is gonna have a dry weight of 6,157 pounds, total length of 25 feet, 11 inches long, in my opinion, half ton towable, not really. I would say three quarter ton towable. I would put this behind a three quarter ton properly equipped truck and I think you'd be in really good shape. You could get away possibly with a half ton, but you'd have to watch your cargo very, very carefully and you'd have to have the max tow version, max towing package, all of those safety features just to be sure that you could handle this thing. These are very tall units. They're relatively wide and they have a big wind profile going down the road. So you just don't want the wind to throw you around. Okay, we're gonna hop inside of this unit, then we'll come back out and see what the outside's all about. We'll go ahead and start with this front entry right here versus the back entry, and I think you'll see why once we get inside. So this specific unit is the Flagstaff 25 FKBS. This is going to be a front kitchen unit. All right, so as I walk in here, I'll kind of pan around. This is a couples unit, so keep that in mind. This isn't really designed for a large family because you're not gonna have a heck of a lot of sleeping accommodations. I love this front kitchen. And the folks at Flagstaff do it right by giving you actual drawers in a kitchen, even though the unit's relatively short, which is nice. They give you pantry space right here. Honestly, the folks at Flagstaff just do a really good job of equipping their kitchen properly. Lots of storage. And again, a lot of drawers, fully extending drawers. They even give you a little silverware tray. Something that you can expect to see in all of these, which is really nice. 1800 watt inverter, 200 watts worth of solar on the roof, shower miser system. This is really cool. Basically it's a water recirculation system to save water so you're not wasting it while it heats up. 15,000 BTU air conditioning system that's ducted. Solid wood cabinet doors, hidden hinges, drawer glides. Has a hybrid woven flooring, which is pretty cool as well, right? You talk about the things that they do to keep things from delaminating or having problems. In this one, you're getting a complete composite wall construction and floor construction, which is awesome. Heated mattress, that's pretty cool. I didn't actually notice that in other units I've walked through. Okay, huge countertop space right here. This is like a dream for people who like to prep and cook food. You have a large three burner cooktop right here as well. Good size oven beneath it. You have your Magic Chef Compact microwave up top. You got cabinetry up here. Then you're gonna have a really nice blackout shade down here as well with magnetic holds on it so you can hold it right there. Check that out. That is pretty dang cool. More blackout shades right here, which I always like to see blackout shades on RVs. You have a really, really good sized Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator. And what's cool about this is the fact that you can open this refrigerator from either side. Check that out. Very cool. All right, stepping over here, you have these really, really nice little side tables that are designed to kind of extend out over you if you're gonna be eating from your theater seating. Plenty of windows around it. Again, more blackout shades. Your TV is directly across from your entertainment area. You have a good size panoramic fireplace beneath it, plus some storage right there. And this is all solid surface, just like this material right here. Nice size pantry slash closet here as well. If you take some of these shelves out, you have some hanging space in here. That's the other end table. Very, very cool. Here's your thermostat. All right, let's step into the bathroom and then the bedroom. So this is the bathroom. It is a very good size bathroom. It actually feels really nice. It feels open, airy, and the color tones more neutral. They feel good. It just gives you a nice, airy, bright feeling to it. 
I love this cornered shower. They put a really cool little hanging area here for accessories. Plus this has the shower miser in it also. This is that recirculation system. So basically when you turn the water on, it recirculates the water in this area until it gets hot. It doesn't really go like this. It goes all the way back to the tank and back here. But this will change color whenever the water's ready to use because it's warmed up. So you're not just draining the water down the, the drain. Nice cornered unit. Plastic sink, tons of countertop space around it. And you have a good size medicine cabinet right here as well. A lot of storage underneath. Power outlet right here. It's really cool. Over here is your 30 amp solar charge controller for the 200 watt panel up top. Second entry exit, and this is assisted as well, so you don't have to worry about hefting up that heavy step system to get into the RV. You have your fuses and breakers there. On this side, you're gonna have a queen size bed, heated mattress, that's pretty awesome, right? You have cabinetry up here, Nice padded headboard as well. This is a big sliding door. Check out this entrance to get from here into your bathroom. It's probably about two and a half feet, maybe even more than that. Behind the door is gonna be your toilet, porcelain foot flush toilet, and then you have even more storage space back here. For being just a smidge over 26 feet long, it sure feels like a much larger RV inside. This is gonna be all your wardrobe stuff. Check this closet space out. Good amount of closet space in here as well. And then you got plenty of drawers underneath. And more storage right there. You have your 110 plus USB connections right there. And you have a large window in the back that also acts as an emergency exit. What do you guys think? This is super nice. The interior of this unit is very, very nice. But yeah, definitely want your opinion. Let's hop outside of this unit and see what it's all about. So this unit's gonna have an MSRP of $56,080 and a sale price of $39,938. So over $15,000 off, almost $17,000 off pretty much the MSRP. So you're starting to see a lot of these bigger discounts come back, but you're also starting to see a lot more content in these RVs, which is really nice. So starting up front, you have your Stromberg Carlson 3,500 pound rated electric tongue jack spot for two 30 pound propane cans. That's awesome. A lot of RVs are only putting 20 pound propane cans on their units. So it's nice to see a spot for two 30 pound. Spot for two batteries, even though I think they only include one, but you can put a second battery in there very easily. This has electric stabilization, which is also really, really nice. So you can extend and retract it up here and also in the back. Asdell sidewall construction, which is also really nice. Of course, you can get on the roof as a full walkable roof, and you do have that 200 watt solar panel. This also comes with tire pressure monitoring, as well as the Dexter Tour Flex axles, which we'll take a look at in a second. Both the front and the rear entry steps are assisted, so the process of lifting this up is super, super simple. It's almost like they float. Outside of your furnace right here, spot to mount your barbecue pit, your grill on the side. 110 outlet, that is your cable connection. This is going to have Goodyear Endurance tires. Again, this is going to have torsion suspension, not leaf sprung. It's a more reliable suspension system, but just keep in mind you don't get equalization across your axles. So it's just very important to understand that. Second entry exit right here. You have another spot right here. So you can mount your cooking area in the back or in the front. That's really nice. Nice size electric awning with LED light strip underneath it that runs front to back. LED lights back here, four inch tubular bumper for your sewer line. You just prep for a Furion wireless backup camera. This one has a nice plastic cover over the back tire. And you got your ladder to get you on the roof. This is a rack and pinion slide back here. And it's also a rack and pinion slide up there. You have some storage here underneath the bed. A lot of storage actually, very nice. Slam latch on that, plus this right here, I don't know what that's for because your wet bay is right here. So I'm guessing that's probably just extra storage. 30 amp connection right here. Outside shower right there. Frameless windows. This is gonna be more storage right here. Great spot to put like mops, brooms, things like that. Nice slam latch there as well. 
What do you guys think? I'd love to know your opinion on this unit. There's a ton of features baked into this thing and the price is actually pretty dang aggressive considering what all you're getting. They are adding a lot of content to these units that they just never had in the past, yet the prices are actually coming down. So I'd love to know your opinion. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, I'd appreciate it if you took a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.